Okay, today we're going to talk about in this video how to run your movie screens in the back. Your CD player is also your DVD player. So when you're ready, you just take your movie, put it into your CD slot, give it a little bit, it's going to read the disc, it's going to turn on all of your uh, screens, and you'll be ready to go. The music from the video will be playing over the speakers of the car. If you'd ever like to see the movie on the screen in the front, with the car in park and the emergency brake pressed till it clicks, you're going to notice the video screen pop up here on your front screen. So once again, the only way to get it to play up here in front is you have to be in park and you have to depress your emergency brake on the left side of your footwell over here. Now the volume's playing over the speakers and I'm getting ready to watch all of the previews. If I want to speed through the previews and I would like to control that from up here, I have to hit the disc auxiliary button, pull up all my directions and hit top menu. And top menu is going to jump past all of the previews and get me to my main menu screen for my movie. Now my main menu screen pops up and you're going to see someone has to hit play movie. Now you can use the remote control from the back, the, the kids can use that in the back, or from the front, you can hit disc auxiliary, pull your directions up again, and hit top menu one more time, and it'll play the movie. Now with the movie playing, if you want to listen to your radio through the speakers, while the kids are listening to the headsets, as long as the headsets are on, they have the left and the right screen displayed, depending on which screen they're sitting in front of. They can control their own volume on their headphones. All you have to do up front is hit one of your radio buttons, and it'll play any of your music and now it's just going to be FM, AM or XM because it's already using the uh, CD player as the DVD player. So you can listen to the radio, it'll come through your speakers while the kids are listening to their movies on their headsets. When you want to stop the movie or if you want to see if the screens are on, you can hit setting button, you can go to rear display and you can see if the screens are on or off. And you'll notice I can turn one off and I can turn it back on. I can also control the feed as far as what is showing on the screen. If you plug in a gaming system into the back controls by the console, you can change and go to that rear auxiliary and then one child could be watching a movie on one screen through the DVD, the other could be playing a gaming system on the other screen. So you have a rear auxiliary, you have a forward auxiliary which is inside your console, you have your USB input which is up here by where you would plug your phone in, and you also have your DVD player up front. So if I want to turn the system off, I can just turn the screens off, back out of there, and go down here and hit disk auxiliary, and stop go ahead and eject my disc and go back to playing whatever music I was playing before. And that's how you run your DVD system. 